want to take a bit of a break from the big news stories of the day, the serious news stories of the day, to introduce you to these gentlemen, Penn and Teller. Thank you very much for the dropping by. The non-serious news story of the day. You know what's interesting is, before the camera started to roll, you were saying a thing. You were talking up a storm. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the way it usually is. <laughs> and, uh, of course, you're not mic'd because part of your shtick is once the camera rolls, we don't hear from you. That's fact, correct. Yeah. So, uh, I'm curious, you know, you're, you guys are so recognizable, you've been stars for so long. When you showed up at Canada Customs last night, I guess, what kind of reaction do you get? Oh, they were, uh, they were very nice to me. I, you, you go through okay? You, we crossed the border without incident. Uh, Trump hasn't got the wall in place yet, so we, we moved across fairly easily. And what do you tell them your job is when they say, what do you do? Uh, well, they, they said, aren't you the guy in Penn and Teller? So they kind of knew. Uh -huh. I said I was coming up to, uh, to do a show at the... Uh, at the casino, the, yeah. At the casino, and yeah. they uh, they said, sure. It was actually fairly easy. Although they did follow all the rules. They checked the passport. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but it, it went it went through fairly easily. And tomorrow you're back in Vegas. You know, mm -hmm. looking at your guys' schedule, you've been in the in this business for, what, 40 years? We've been working together for 41 years. And up on all you. you do is do shows. What keeps yeah. you motivated? Well, we, we like doing shows. I mean, when we when we were, uh, we didn't know each other then, but when we were, uh, we were children, you know, all I wanted to do in life was to, think up ideas and do them for people and uh, and then when I uh, first started working with Teller all we wanted to do was think up ideas together we've been doing that we we are uh, one of those uh, rare groups in show business that actually are more successful than we had planned our business plan was to do weird little shows for a couple hundred people and it turns out we were we were off by an order of magnitude in the right direction so we've been we're more successful than we deserve and we're thrilled about that before we got to this segment we we showed the you guys doing the cup and ball uh, yeah, uh, you know shtick um, and using the transparent cups because I guess part of what you do is expose the magic well, yeah kind of sort of ish I mean one of the things uh, is uh, magicians had set up this this battle line in the wrong place. I mean, uh, Jerry Seinfeld once said that all magic was, here's a quarter, now it's gone, you're a jerk, now it's back, you're an idiot, show's over. <laughs> and we did not want to have that kind of battle line drawn there. So our way of showing that we had a different point of view was to give away some of the secrets. And we gave away secrets we created ourselves, and uh, we always left it with, with more mystery in the end. But uh, on the way there, we just kind of say, we're exploring the way we ascertain information. We're not really saying, ha ha, we know this and you don't. Before we go, let's talk about another way that you guys are a lot different, and that is you take on issues in society, issues in the news. Let's play an excerpt of uh, where you take on the, the anti-vaccine movement. In the 1920s, before the diphtheria vaccination was common, there were 13 to 15,000 deaths a year from that disease. If you got it, your chances of dying were about 40%. In 1952, just before the salt vaccine became common, there were about 58,000 cases of polio. If you get unlucky, you might end up permanently disabled or dead. Meningitis, hepatitis A and B, flu, mumps, whooping cough, pneumonia, rotavirus, rubella, smallpox, tetanus, chickenpox. Chickenpox. We have vaccinations against all of them. Which side do you want your child to stand on? So, Penn, where does that kind of stuff fit into your well, act? Well, that show was called BS, and uh, part of the idea of that was to use uh, a few of the skills that we learned to lie to people to point out how they were being lied to. And uh, it was really fun, and we did, we did uh, BS for, for eight years, and we had to always position it. I mean, that had to be the anti-anti-vax thing, because we were always coming from the point of view of the negative. But, I mean, the, the, the anti-vax movement is, is a horrible, horrible, dangerous thing. We also did that clip long ago, but when the anti-vax movement was actually uh, less powerful than it is now. It's a, it's, it's a heartbreaking thing. Not only do we have Penn and Teller here in our own studio, but they're about to do a trick. Yeah, we're, I, we're, I'm not sure if it'll work. This is a little more uh, psychological than most uh, most stuff that we do. But come here, you know, I, I, we we live in Vegas, 
And in Vegas, there's a lot of, you know, gambling and, and working, I hear that, yes. working with people. Yeah, and a lot of stuff with cards. And I've gotten pretty good at finding tells and trying to. And okay. if, you're, if you're just relaxed All right, and just relax. comfortable okay. trying to do this, yeah. we're going to have you pick a, uh, a card here. Uh, I'm going to turn around. I don't want, I don't want to see it. But okay. pick a card. Make sure he doesn't force one on. He knows how to force cards. Make sure he doesn't. And just look at that. Don't show it to okay. anybody. Just, just right. keep it to yourself. And just get that clear in your head and then okay, put, it it back in the, put it back on the deck so All we right. can't possibly know what it is. So there's no way I could know. I was looking Absolutely. away and there's, there's no way I could know what that is. And you've got that clear in your head, right? Totally. Um, I, I, first one, and I might be wrong on this. This might not work. But uh, a black card or a red card? Don't, 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 don't react. Black card. You're already <laughs> reacting a lot. You told me right away it was a red card. I said black card. You reacted really big, and I knew right All away right. it was a black card. Don't do that again on okay. diamonds and hearts, okay? Don't give me any sort of thing. When I say diamonds, don't react differently. I use diamonds. I did not you, react differently. You react differently. a little bit differently. You I, really did. I, 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 I could see so. that. And uh, it's a. Uh, it's clearly a face card. It's a queen. or No, it's not. It's a. <laughs> it's a hot. But it's a high. No, it's not. It's a low. It's a like a three, four, no, it's not a four, it's a five, it's a five, a, absolutely a f five or six, maybe four, four, five, six, six, five, six, maybe seven, maybe six, maybe, uh, it's a five, I'm sure it's the five, don't answer me yet, five or six of diamonds, it's a six of diamonds, you picked the six of diamonds, right? It, I did pick the six yeah, of yeah. diamonds, it's, yeah, yeah, it's all over your face, it was very clear, <laughs> okay. I was looking right at you, so I saw it very clearly, watch the recording back again, you it know, is you know? not all over my face, it so is all over your face, you guys clearly, are, it says six, everybody could see that you there, you guys are all about uh, telling a little bit of the secret of magic uh, behind the scenes. We're not going to give this one You're away. You're not going to give this one Never. away. No, this is, a, this is a deep, deep, well, this is psychological, so I can't really give it away if I wanted to. We're going to keep that. We'll go to our grave with that one. We're going to go to our grave. I don't know much about the fraternity of magicians, although mm -hmm. I'm sure there are female magicians as well. But but in you know among magicians, famous and not so famous, the ones in Vegas, the ones on cruise ships, what do they think of, of you guys? Uh, we have, uh, you know, we started out, I remember uh, Harry Blackstone Jr. when we first hit said, uh, the hatred of magic is the departure point for your comedy. And I, I think that kind of uh, sums it up. We actually, uh, now that we're doing our TV show Fool Us and working with a lot of the uh, younger magicians, I believe we have, uh, we have become the establishment. I don't think there's any magician we... we Really don't get along with now. You know, we uh, we certainly uh, we're we're certainly friendly with um, David Copperfield. You know, uh, although Siegfried and Roy no longer perform, we're we're friendly uh, we're friendly with them. And uh, right, you know, the the newer magicians like Matt Franco, and we've certainly been friends with David Blaine forever. And the um, the the cruise ship magicians, as you refer to them, uh, we love them all. Uh, there's something wonderful about the the kind of funky, down and dirty, just doing magic tricks for people. That's pretty great. You do this, of course, in the internet age. And so I was looking at lots of videos the last few days. I saw the nail gun uh, skit mm -hmm. uh, act, I guess. Really impressive. Scam, swindle, Scam. rip off, all well, those are good. And so you guys, you know, you, you said how it works, right? Mm -hmm. So you revealed uh, the curtain a little bit. But then in some of the comments, somebody said, no, no, here's what really happens mm -hmm. there. Uh, how do you feel? Like, how much harder is it to be a magician now than it was for you guys 20 years ago when it's all out there? Uh, I think it's much better now. I think it's much, much better now. Uh, the information we're dealing with, I mean, uh, uh, not to be too uh, presumptuous on this, but if you're listening to a piece of music and you see the score, it doesn't take that away. I mean, there are there are books out about how uh, uh, Bob Dylan, uh, in his writing, what what sort of influences he has. I mean, the internet has given us that too. You would have never known that uh, that Bob Dylan's uh, Tempest was pulling from 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 Japanese gangster stories and poetry. You wouldn't have known that he grabbed this and that here and there and put that together. And now we know that. And I find that to be uh, to be more interesting. It just depends on how much you want to dig. If you want to watch a Penn and Teller trick and uh, just leave it at that level. But if you're more interested in, in how it's done or how we put it together, you can go to the internet and find a lot of that information. Of course, a lot of the stuff on the internet will be incorrect, but I no. like to think that there's a uh, there's a 14 or 15 year old version of us that's going to those things, reading the comments, going there, going deeper, finding the books, digging in, finding that stuff because um, we don't have uh, we don't really uh, deal 
in secrets, that's not our currency. Mm -hmm. uh, we deal in performance, that's the currency. And uh, I don't think it's, uh, it's sometimes less fun to have the surprise laid out for you in advance. But if you want to dig in and learn about our stuff, we're really hoping there are young people out there that are going, oh, that's how they do the nail gun, and I'm going to go and do my own version that, that builds off that and does something different. Well, you're very good entertainers. You're well, very you. eloquent, or at least one of you is, and uh, really nice talking to you. Thank you very much. He is very eloquent. <laughs>